go to File and New and then Create. That creates a document in Affinity Publisher. Go to Document and then Data Merge Manager. That links the data. So just down the bottom left, click the Add Data Merge Source. Always puts it, of course, on top of where you want. Select the file, text.csv file. You can name it anything and click Open. Now it's separated by commas. So in this entry, you need to make certain it's just comma there, the delimiter. Make the quote, double quote, doesn't matter. Make certain that merge enabled is on. All pages repeat and then close. That's it. It's done. Hasn't generated it yet. You need to set up all the entries. So close at this point. Now go to the data merge tool. Data merge layout tool. Select that and that will create an entry. And it'll create by default four entries, two and two, the rows and columns. You can make it five, say five rows. And that will be duplicated. Each one of those will be repeated with your data. So just go over and add some frame text. So create some frame text and I'm just going to create one. And I'm going to change the name in the layers panel. Don't have to. I'm just going to go and change it to name. Just makes it easy to reference. So that's going to be name. Then go to the fields panel, which you can find it in the view menu studio as all the other panels. And you can go down to the bottom and data merge. And you can see it says text.csv file. Double click the name entry. And it should put name there in that brackets. I'm just going to create another one. Again, go to the frame text tool. Make it slightly smaller and that's going to be count. So again, double click it, just call it count. And then go to the fields again. And with it selected, go to the data merge at the bottom again. And double click that entry, the count entry in this case. And it will put that count in there. And that is repeated in all of the others. You can also add additional things into there. Go to the rectangle tool and just add some rectangles. And each of those rectangles will be appearing in all the other cells. You can change the color, add additional ones. Any shape can be added in here or other designs. They don't have to be associated with the data. So you can see now all are below that data merge layout. That's the key thing. You can see the alignment there. They're all inset for that data merge layout. Then go to document and do data merge again. You can see text.csv file and click generate. And that's it. Creates a new document. Now I've made a mistake. I've added some additional pages. See, there's the original document. It also has some additional pages. Unfortunately, this one also has some additional pages. So there's a bit of a gap between the data. But you can delete those. So if you make that mistake, you suddenly find you've got page two and three, quite easy done. Page four and five, completely empty, and you've got them slightly separated. You can just click and delete them. So you can make certain they do join nicely. But of course, you might want this. You might want that data there. You might want some imagery on the other pages. And then you want those additional entries. Now here's the text edit field. This is the one CSV file. And you can see the data, Andrew comma four, Megan comma six, and so on. They obviously got name and count at the top. Now name and count's not used. That's the header. And you can see the data there, the count, as well as the name. And you can see the colors. That's reproduced in that new document. And that's the key thing, the new document. And when you come to save it, what you need to do is save that document as well as the other one, but not to the same file. So you can just delete the pages so they're all together if that's what you want. So you can see now the data spread over like that. 